What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about my top 5 favorite must draft goaltenders. Goalie is always one of the more difficult but crucial positions to win your fantasy leagues and this video is going to help you get there. But before we jump in, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you follow us on Twitter at fantasy underscore puck for daily updates. If you want access to our premium tools, our projections, draft sheet, trade analyzer, and more, head over to our Patreon. Without further ado, let's jump into the must draft goaltenders video. We are starting out this video with no one other than Jake Ottinger of the Dallas Stars. Of the goalies mentioned in this video, Ottinger is the only goaltender that's below ADP 100, but we feel this is justified. Ottinger stole the starter role last season upon his call up and the 23 year old is in line to start at least 70% of the games this season on the team that looks to be a contender yet again. As I always say, goalie success can typically be determined by the strength of a team. The Stars were 6-6-2 and, and found themselves near the bottom of the league prior to Ottinger's call up. After his call up on November 16th, Dallas had the 12th best record in the league at 41-24-4, a 62.3% win percentage, which was enough to push them into playoffs. In that time, they were actually a below average defensive team, which only speaks to the star studded status of Jake Ottinger. Ottinger appeared in 29 games in 2020, recording an 11, 8, and 7 record, a 9-11 save percentage, and a 236 goals against average. Remember, he was just 22 years old in this year. After his call-up in 2021, Ottinger posted a 30-15-1 record, a 9-14 save percentage, and a 253 goals against average. The Stars are looking to build off of a strong season last year, and Ottinger is going to be the focal point of their success. If the 23-year-old can repeat his success, he can easily end up as a top 5 goalie in all leagues. Moving on to the next must draft goaltender, I'm very interested in Linus Allmark of the Boston Bruins this season. If you watched my mock draft Monday video, you probably saw that I took Swayman relatively early. I do love Swayman this year as well, but it's likely that Swayman and Allmark are going to split time between the pipes, and Allmark is being drafted over 70 spots later. In my mock drafts this year, Allmark was actually not even drafted, so he makes for a perfect must own goalie this season. He posted a 26 10 and 2 record last season with a 9.17 save percentage and a 2.45 goals against average. Again, the volume won't be there like some of the 1A goalies, but he's a perfect goalie 2 or goalie 3 to round out your team. Allmark posted the 10th best save percentage last season and the 8th best goals against average. I know the Bruins are pretty banged up to begin the season, but it's important to note that Marshawn anticipates his return to be in early November and McAvoy will likely follow a month or two after. The Bruins have been one of the best defensive teams in hockey the last two seasons. They rank 5th for Corsi 4 percentage, 1st for Shots 4 percentage, and they've allowed the 2nd least amount of goals against, and the 2nd least amount of scoring chances against. This team wins on defense, and this only benefits the goaltending. At ADP 143, Allmark is being drafted in round 14, or goalie 25 off the board. You can take him safely in between round 9 to 11, depending on your league size, as a solid number 2 goalie. Uh, I never thought I'd be recommending Jordan Binnington on this channel, but that's what it's come to. The Blues are without a capable backup this season, and Binnington simply becomes a volume play on one of the best teams in hockey. I truly don't believe he's a good goaltender, but he plays on a team that are heavily cup contenders this season. Binnington lost his starter role last season after posting an 18-4-4 record, a 9-0-1 save percentage, and a 3-13 goals against average. What never makes sense to me is how good he is in playoffs. Binnington had 6 starts last year in playoffs, posted a 4-1 record, a 9.49 save percentage, and a 172 goals against average. A very low sample size, and typically playoff games are lower scoring and more defensive, but if he can find a way to translate that postseason success into the regular season, he could easily end up as a top 10 goalie, especially with his volume. We project Binnington to get around 75% of the starts, 36 wins, a 9.08 save percentage, and a 2.89 goals against average making him actually one of the winningest goalies in the league. At ADP 137, he's pretty much the latest starting goalie off the board. I would take Binnington in about round 8-10 to 10 as your goalie 1 or 2. You're probably wondering, what Colorado goalie am I going to recommend? And as of right now, it's Pavel Frensos. We don't really know Colorado's plans. Will Georgiev get the bulk of the starts, or will they split? Georgiev has never been a starter in his career, just 117 starts over 5 seasons and his career high was 32 in 2019. For Francois, he was the clear backup last season after the abs traded for Kemper in the offseason. I think this year both goalies get a shot at the starters crease, with the edge probably going to Georgiev, but it's really nothing to worry about. 
You can grab Franco's 40 picks after Georgiev for the same upside. Not much needs to be said about the Avalanche team. They're going to be the best team in the league again this season, and Franco's should see around a 70% win rate. We project Franco's for 41 starts, so 50% start share, winning 29 games, a 916 save percentage, and a 255 goals against average. If he does end up taking over the crease in Colorado or Georgiev gets injured, Franco's can easily be a top 7 goalie just because he's on the Avalanche. There's so much life from him this season at ADP 154, you can safely grab him in the later rounds to solidify your goaltending. Finally, to end off this video, one of the more talked about goalies in the comment section, Stuart Skinner of the Edmonton Oilers. I thought he was super sneaky at the start of the season, but it seems like some of you guys are already on him. I love it. Campbell signed with the Oilers this offseason with the hope of solving the Oilers' brutal goaltending problem. I understand the move but you can't justify going into the season with a 24-year-old goalie that started just 13 games. The reason I love Skinner this season is simply because Campbell's unreliable. He's entering this season as a 31-year-old and has yet to start more than 50 games in one season. 47 last year was his career high with the Leafs, but it seemed like the more volume he had, the more susceptible he was to injury. Funny enough, Campbell actually has 8 more career starts than Georgiev with a 6-year age difference. Anyways, we can safely project Skinner for at least a 40% start share, even if Campbell stays healthy. And in fact, Campbell gets injured again this season, Skinner may be a league winner for you. Surprisingly, the Oilers are actually a middle of the pack defensive team, but with the addition of Evander Kane this season, the Oilers are going to be a top 5-7 team in the league. At ADP 177, you can basically forget about Skinner until the end of your draft as a goalie 3, with the upside to finish as a top 15-20 goalie. That'll do it for our must draft goaltenders video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.